Today, we're going to read the story, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type, and our vocabulary word is impatient. I was so impatient to leave for Disneyland in the morning. It means that you can absolutely not wait. I bet on Christmas morning, all of you get a little impatient to open all of your presents. Now, raise your hand if you feel you get a little impatient on Christmas morning to open all of your presents. Let's say that vocabulary word together on three. One, two, three. Impatient. Who can tell me what this part of the book is called? Who can tell me what an author is? Who can tell me what an illustrator is? Let's get started. Click, clack, moo. Cows that type. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, de, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type, impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, de, clack. What is Farmer Brown's problem? Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, de, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. Did anyone hear our vocabulary word? That's right, impatient. The cows were getting impatient with Farmer Brown. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was pissed. How would you feel if you were the farmer with no milk and no eggs? What would you do? Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. Your cows and hens, I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. What kind of sound do hens make? Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Does anyone know what the word ultimatum means? It means the last word on something, so the final statement. So, Farmer Brown had made an ultimatum with the cows about the blankets. Maybe your mom or dad has made an ultimatum with you. Something like, now brush your teeth right now, or else you don't get a story before you go to sleep. Now, who's, who's heard something like this before? Now word together on three. The vocabulary word. One, two, three. Ultimatum. Now let's count the syllables together. I'll go first and then now. Ultimatum. Now all together. Ultimatum. And how many syllables was that? The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Thinking about our vocabulary word, how do you think Farmer Brown is feeling? Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. What's a word that rhymes with cow? Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. What's a word that rhymes with brown that starts with...
The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end.